Hey everyone, and welcome back to my playthrough of Control. Uh, last time we were uh, going to the Panopticon to basically find Dylan. Uh, we also did go through the basement area, sub area, um, where there was a lot of uh, Last of Us inspiration going on. A lot of uh, fungus men walking around. Uh, we finally did make it to the Panopticon, and we saw some interesting... Uh, not objects of power, but AWEs, altered world items. Um, we did come across a guy who had to keep watching a fridge, um, lest if he took his eyes off of it for even a second, something terrible would happen. We don't know what. We do have a side quest to go back to him once we find Dylan. Um, I'm going to assume it's not going to go well either way. We do have uh, an existing... Uh, side mission. Uh, which one? This one here. Yes. Uh, to contain an anchored altar item. Um, now that we have the uh, superhero, the fly, levitate ability, uh, we can actually go back and uh, finish that up and get whatever it is there. Possibly new power. So I say, let's do that first before we head back. Uh, or continuing on with my brother's keeper to go to Dylan. So, um, let's select the mission here, so I can remember where it is. Containment area. Uh, sealed threshold. Wait, isn't that, isn't that where we are? Oh no, we're in the Panopticon. Atrium, I guess? Let's try that. Yes. All right. So interestingly enough, the anchor isn't there anymore. Uh, I'm not sure if it's just not loading in or if it's uh, obscured for some reason. Okay. Let's try this out. Man, that is so cool. That float ability. Oh, yeah. Clocks. Forgot about the clocks. All right, what are we doing? The Holy shit. Defeat the anchor. All right. How? Holy shit. Okay. So I'm going to assume... So we can either go where it's hitting, or just stay where we are. Should be pretty easy. Ah, uh, looks like it goes in a cycle, so it might as well. Boom. Oh, it makes monsters. Fuck. Not good. Not good, not good, not good. Wow, really? You could be on our side now. We gotta wait. That's okay. We'll get him. Oh, fuck. Nice. So we'll go to this one. Or maybe even the next one. Oh. I did not realize it was going to be the side. 
Oh, it's going faster. Fuck. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Oh shit. I was wondering where he was. We'll get it. We will get it. So if I remember correctly, it started this side first. What the fuck is that? All right, Bubba. Let's do this. What? It's making blocks. Um, that was bullshit. That was complete fucking bullshit. Spawn shit. Hurry up. next Fuck off. I can wait. Of course. Hurry up, hurry up. I thought I brought up the shield, and it brought it too late. And apparently I can't even drink. Fuck, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Come on, come on, come on. One more. Alright, they say we just stay where we are. Hurry up. Oh, fuck off.
Oh fuck! It's too late. Oh come on! Sing fucking cheats. Alright, I'm gonna head back this way. Is that there we go fucking done uh-huh oh and it landed on the other side I will take it see first try I'm professional guys come on So what, do we get an ability now that creates clocks everywhere? There. No one of the rangers had such a hard time with that one. No? I didn't get any powers? That sucks. I'll take the ability points, though. Okay. Astral Constructs. What do we got? Upgrade Grip. What's the one we use again? Is it Grip? I think grip is the one we use. Unlock the final mod slot, increase base weapon damage. Yeah, I mean, that'd be good. Charge. Oh, charge was like the projectiles, yeah. Nice. Fortunately, we can't unlock anything else right now, but that's okay. Um, right, let's see if we can upgrade this. I'm still waiting for a house memory. Okay. Uh, board countermeasures. Collect. We we did this one. Remote dot. Oh well. <coughs> Melee tactics. You were stronger than before. Five difficulties easy. It is fairly. With the shatter mode. I'll take the melee tactics. I'm pretty sure I'll kill some people with melee. And abilities. Um, that said, I could upgrade the melee. Mm, what's this one? 10% to levitation duration. Press while levitating to slam into the ground and damage your by enemies. Hmm. That's interesting. Although I much prefer um, levitation speed. Seize duration. Seize an additional enemy. You know, I don't think I would mind more energy. You know what's funny? I've put a considerable amount of uh, points into shield and I barely even use it. I think I'll do this one. And then this will be three. Yeah. Okay. And before we move on, let's add in that extra slot. Okay, rate of fire. Ammo cost while levitating. That's interesting. Damage against enemy armor. 
ammo refund chance on hit damage while low on health you know I actually wouldn't mind damage against enemy armor I already have that though don't I I do 30% You know, I'll take the the damage against enemy armor for now. Um, damage while low on health is also pretty good. Because I, now that the game's actually getting a little bit harder, it wouldn't necessarily be a bad idea. You know, let's do this. Because I'm still not sure if, um, like, I know I've stacked these two together. I'm not entirely sure um, the C speed actually changed. I didn't really test it out. Let's put something else on for now. Wow, I got a lot, eh? Okay, let's see what I'm not going to be using. Shield energy costs, I'm not going to be using that one. Shield strength, um, no. Launch energy cost, no. Beta energy, shield strength. Evade. Again, evade is good, but... Health, launch energy costs twenty five percent. Well, I'm definitely not going to be using the lower grade ones. Energy recovery speed, that could also be very useful. I got a looks like I got a bigger one down there. Um, this one's energy. 10% is kind of low. 24% energy recovery speed. You know, I'd much rather have a higher recovery speed than lower energy cost for a specific uh, ability. So we'll do that. What's this? Anchor supplement. Okay, so let's check the background on this one. The crew of the White Ocelot first encountered a strange spherical phenomenon while fishing in the blank. Witnesses described it as a black sphere with faint light behind it. It hovered just off the bow of the ship. The crew blank by throwing a tin bucket which disappeared into the sphere. Have we, we read this? Oh, I think this is what we meant to read. Anchor procedures. Black rock paneling successfully prevents manifestation of the sphere. A Trotman-style anchor made of iron with a wooden stock. Surface is rusted in places. Weighs 3,789 pounds. The item generates a persistent black sphere, the purpose of which is currently unknown. The sphere is always generated at a precise point in relation to the item, specifically blank horizontal feet and blank vertical feet from the blank of the anchor. So on April 25th, 1983, Ranger First Class wa was dropped into the sphere wearing a diving suit with dedicated oxygen line and blank AMBST. After 10 minutes and 13 seconds in inside the sphere, blank's oxygen line was cut at the sphere's border by an unseen force. All agents in the room during blank's entry into the sphere experienced vomiting, vertigo, and loss of fingernails within, one hour within an hour of one another. Ranger Blank has been declared MIA, presumed dead. Loss of fingernails. Ugh. Okay. So, we still gotta wait for Underhill on that one. Fridge Duty, we gotta, we gotta meet up with Dylan first. So, let's do this. Back to the Panopticon. Right there. So if I remember if I remember correctly, he was on the fifth floor. And we can only gain uh, elevator access to the fourth floor, but now that we can levitate, should be no problem. Oh hi. Oh shit. Ah! 
How dare you? Where's this fucking sphere? No, I'm not gonna find it. Oh, it's down there. Whoa, almost fell down. Oi. Nice. Fuck him up, bro. Is that it? Seems to be it. Uh, yeah, fifth floor. And the elevator was this way, I believe. You know, for as much of a conundrum as the oldest house is, it's still fascinating to see how massive this place is. I mean, you have to consider, like, can you imagine seeing... I don't think many many people have seen anything like this high. Like, I know we're only five floors up. I know that. But at the same time... Um... Or three, or four, uh, yeah. Like, look how high that is, and look how low. Look how far down that. Like, you can't even see the bottom. Like, this is skyscraper levels. You know what I mean? And I guess they said this was based in New York, if I'm not mistaken. But still, man. Um, where am I going? Fifth floor. Wait, why are we? Oh, I made the same mistake. Section three, fourth floor. Okay, so to get to the fourth floor, or fifth floor rather, right, I need to go on that platform there. All right, Dylan. Is that a swan? It certainly looks like it. This was the one in that tunnel of love thing, wasn't it? I'm actually curious. Collectibles, the case files. Swan boat. So, uh, 
It was uh, Vancouver Island. It ejected numerous riders over the course of the summer, bringing the boat to the attention of the media. Okay, so it emits a pulse of physical force at an estimated force of blank. Measuring the exact force created by the... Okay, so basically it just, like, ejects people from it. Cool. Anything over here? Ooh, certainly do have some here. This is... Balloons? Get well soon. I don't think we've seen... I don't think we've seen a document for this one. Alright. I want you guys to make up something in the comments of what this could be. What's what's the deal with these balloons? If we ever find it... Like, I want you guys to write it before... Before we ever find the document for this. Come up with something. Ah, and if I remember correctly, this is the thing that changes shape whenever you don't look at it. Uh, fortunately, it looks like it's stuck as a water cooler. Oh, maybe Jesse needs to look away too. No. What's... Oh, is it the camera that's following me? Yeah. That is a crowbar. Uh, fresh from the Black Mesa incident, if I remember correctly. No, I'm just kidding. That was a joke. Dylan. Aha. Uh -huh. He's so close. That chance. Um, why is there bodies? So much stuff. So much stuff. How do I get in there? I want in. We should have like a T one thousand ability. Can you Hello? hear me? I can. We should have like Jesse. a T one. Okay, give me a minute. We should have like a T one thousand ability of just like going through the fucking bars, you know. Emergency phone. Is that it? No. Definitely not it now. Uh, Jesse, what the fruit? Oh, so that also reminds me. Okay, before I interrupt it further. Um, when I was editing the footage for the last episode, I noticed that there's a document I missed in Dr. Darling's office. Um, sorry for all of you that were like yelling at me. I will go back there eventually, and I will get it. We will read it. Dylan Faden observation. 9.30 a.m. Breakfast is brought. 11.54 a.m. Gets, <coughs> gets out of bed, uses toilet, returns to bed. So does he not eat the breakfast? 11.57. Ask for television to be turned on. Staff do so. So in a span of a minute, he gets out of bed, uses the toilet, and returns to bed. Usually, It takes me a couple of minutes to go to the bathroom, man. Uh, lunch is brought, breakfast is removed, eats lunch, uses toilet, begins talking to self, recording speech is not possible due to noise from television, becomes upset, throws lunch, lunch tray at glass, sedated, clean, the crew clean the cell, television is turned off, comes to, asks for television to be turned on, staff refuse, sleeps, television privileges where you refuse due to hostile behavior. So I wonder when this actually was. Like, was this a couple of years ago? Was this last week? Was this this morning? Are you there? Jesse? Oh. Oh, Emily? Yeah. He's gone. Dylan isn't here. He might be nearby. Might. Or maybe the hiss got to him. I don't know. I don't Jesse, think so. Listen. Dylan's here. With us. Oh, shit. He just walked in. He says he is giving himself up. He's been affected by the hiss, but, but he is different than the others. We must isolate him. I'm on my way. We need to get 
Inter interesting turn of events. Ugh, we're still on level 6 access. Still writing these down. Come on. Alright. So where are we? Uh, alright, P6L. Doyle. P6 cell, level 6. I think level 6 is the highest. I don't recall seeing um, any level higher. I don't think I've seen a 7. I could be wrong. Ooh, let's head up first. Bro, this looks like... Why are the red lights? It looks like Superman cell or something, you know? Where like the the Krypton Sun, the red rays from Krypton Sun. Um, I wonder what the point is of coming up here. We're having an ability to go up there. Ooh, maybe that's why. Remote dot. Just had a random remote dot. Just sitting in a box. Anything else anywhere? Any weird corners? Oh, there's stuff here. Oh, what the fuck? I don't know if you guys saw that. The computer was levitating too. That was weird. Anyways. Um. Yeah. Oh, the toilet and the water fountain are connected together? Or your sink? Ooh. So I'm guessing his meal gets brought to him here? Maybe? Anyways. Uh, I don't think there's anything else around here. Oh. There's something. A recording. I won't take up too much of your time today, Dylan. Like I said, I want to talk about Jessie, her sister. What about her? I just want to get your perspective. What do you think of her? What kind of person is she? That sort of thing. I adored my sister. When I was little, I mean, back in ordinary. And you don't anymore? <sighs> when I first got here, sure. I'd always hoped she'd come too. Find me, would take me home. We went everywhere together. Why should this be any different? Casper said she could come too, to the Bureau. If she wanted to. But she never did. Why do you think that is? <laughs> because she didn't care about me. She always wanted to be out on her own, seeing the world. She always said so. I guess she got what she wanted. Great. So, she wanted to see the world. Did she ever mention any place in particular? Why? We like to ask questions around here, you know that. Any particular cities, towns, landmarks, anything like that? I don't remember. What about family and friends? Were you close with anyone living outside of ordinary? I'm done with this. Tell Casper I want pizza for lunch today. Dylan, wait. We're not... End of session. So it's interesting that Darling told him that I could have... I could come anytime I want. Not sure if that's actually what he really believed, or he was just telling Dylan what he wanted to hear. Um, and if it is the case that he was lying to him, not sure how much of a good idea it is to lie to your prospective future director. 
Okay, so... Dead end. Lovely. Came all the way up here for nothing. So wait, does this mean we can go talk to Fridge Guy now? Yeah. Let, let's do this one now, since we're here. Fourth floor. Okay. So I just have to go down one floor. And I'm most likely going to get attacked. Um, yeah, there's nothing else here, right? No. Might as well just float on down. And was he here? Of course, there's stuff. I thought I got it. Okay, why did that blow up? Oh, great. Oh, and um, I'm not seeing any real difference. It oh, shit. I'm not seeing any real difference in... Um The amount of time it takes to uh, seize the hiss. With me taking that uh, that other mod off, so. But yeah, I don't think they stack. Okay, so Fridge Guy is over here. Poor fucking hey, bastard, man. Oh, you're back. Oh, thank you, thank you. If, if I look away, I don't know what this thing will do. You have to get me out of here. The door can only be opened by the Panopticon supervisor. That's Langston, if he's still around. Langston. Yeah, I know him. I'll go ask him how to get you out. Please hurry. My eyes. They can't. They can't. Hey, calm down. Just focus. What's your name? Focus. Right. My, my, my name's Philip, and I think I can hold on for a bit. It's just my eyes. My eyes hurt so much. Just hang on, Philip. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Don't you have some kind of, like, communicator? Um, actually, I could just port there, can't I? Ooh, we got more. Um. I've been mailing them. Let's do... How much is this one? Three. We'll get that, and I guess I'll we'll get a... I'll get a plus 10% to levitation duration. Alright, let's fast travel to an Opticon right there. Oh, Langston. Containment failure in Panopticon cell 69. Get it? 69. I do not see what is humorous about an escaped paranatural entity originating from cell 69, sir. But you just said it! Come on, you guys, it's funny! It's really not. There's someone named Philip up in a cell. He's watching a refrigerator and very rapidly losing it. Philip? Oh shit, I forgot about fridge duty. He's been in there for over a day, I totally forgot. You forgot about him? There's a lot going on. The hiss, the Benikoff TV. Considering the number of things I'm juggling, ma'am, I think it's- Listen, it's fine. We just need to get him out of there. He said you'd be able to open the cell door. 
Yeah, I can unlock it on my terminal. There. Done. Oh. Open. Poor is gonna Just try to me. escape. The fridge is behaving erratically. Ocular contact is the only thing that seems to placate it. If we don't have someone in there watching it 24-7, people will die. I'll figure something out. I'm pretty good with these things. Being pretty good with altered items isn't standard bureau procedure, ma'am. He doesn't know us very well. I'll see you later, Langston. All right, later. let's, uh, Bye yeah, guys. yeah. 100 bucks says Philip's dead. Philip? Hello? Buddy? Jesse? I'm back. I'm coming in. Thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Jesse? The friend is doing something. Oh. Fuck. If I look away, it hurts. Oh, geez. Yeah, it does. Wow. Like the board, but I can't understand it. What the fuck? Holy shit. I didn't realize it broke the floor apart. Um, that is actually incredibly terrifying. Oh, fuck. Um, all right. Hello? Jesse? I'm back. I'm coming in. Thank you. Oh, Jesse? The fridge is doing something! Philip? Might as well read these first. Employee incident. Incident in question occurred on blank and was brought to HR department's attention by the internal security personnel who intervened. According to reports supported by security camera footage, Agent Filson entered the uh, staff kitchen with the intention of consuming his private meal, a homemade sandwich, cut diagonally and packed in a plastic container. Sounds yummy but discovered the refrigerator had blank his meal. I love how long that redacted thing is. Like, what did he do to it? What, like, what did he do to it? That's, that's fucking great. Agent Filson began to kick the bureau-owned appliance as he expressed his frustration in a loud and profane manner. This behavior caused multiple staff members present to become alarmed. Security was alerted soon after. Filson complied with security's commands to desist. Agent Filson was reprimanded and suspended for the remainder of the ongoing work week. The review committee recommends one non-mandatory counseling session. Multimedia. What did we see? Oh, the Dylan questioning thing, right? <coughs> Hotline. Let's see what's new. Control points. Didn't we already see this? I mean, kind of late in the game to be telling us that. Philip. But appreciate it nonetheless. <gasps> All right, so don't look away. If I look away, it hurts me. Oh, 
So there's no broken stuff right now. This sounds like the board, but I can't understand it. So, okay, that's where it broke it. So don't... Oh, it's got arms. Oh, shit. What? Alright, thankfully it seems pretty weak. Oof. Oh! Oh, I could shoot them! Oh. Fuck me! Alright, it's not hard. I just gotta pay attention to the grounds. A little bit's broken there. Ooh, shit. So I broke the floor there. Oh! Fuck. Oh, shit. That's not good. I didn't think that would hit me. Fuck. Shit, bitch. Wait, there's no black pyramid here. Yep. That is true. The fridge seems fixed. Did fighting that thing off change something? So I saw that we got a 
collectible case file. Let's read that first. Refrigerator procedures. No unique procedures required. An Arctic Queen brand. I think we've read this one before, actually. An Arctic Queen brand electric refrigerator model from the 1960s. No cooling functionality. The door is decorated with crayon illustrations by blank. The illustrations cannot be removed from the item. All attempts have failed. The paper cannot be burned or torn. The item first came from the Bureau's attention after it survived the collapse of New York City's Grand Central Hotel, where it served as an appliance in apartment Blank, rented by a man named Blank. It became the subject of local infamy after surviving the building's collapse undamaged. Mr. Blank, who was out of the building at the time of the collapse, uh, Blank PM, retained ownership of the item until 1974, when the Bureau purchased the item through a false identity. New altered effect has been observed. Yeah, I think I've, I think we read this one before. All right, let's see what the board has to say about the former. <laughs> we apologize slash denial knowledge for the inconvenience. Huh. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for replying. All right. That's kind of cool. Um, all right. So speak with Langston. Be like, what the fuck was that? WTF, mate. Numerous cell breaches on his things are a bad influence on my collection. How'd it go? Where's no. Philip? Dead. Philip's gone. Something happened before I could get him out. <sighs> Poor Philip. Yeah, two days to retirement. He never did like fridge duty. Who would? But if you're here, then who's watching the fridge? The fridge is fine now. I took care of it. You don't just take care of altered items. What did you do? I touched it and wound up in the astral plane. This thing was in there. It was huge, had one big eye, wasn't friendly. We've been getting reports from the astronauts lately about something fitting that description. The astral plane is usually connected to our world through objects of power, not altered items. If this thing is linking itself to altered items, then it's clearly powerful. This may happen again. Do you think that thing is what got Philip? Must have yeah. been. Yeah. The Panopticon is a dangerous place. The agents all know the risks. What kind of question is that, Jesse? But since you're some sort of altered item whisperer, I've got a list of others for you to corral. Ooh, okay. The hiss are causing containment breaches left, right, and center. Here, start with these. I'll see if there are any others missing while you're gone. My life just got a whole lot easier. We finally have a director who will take matter into their own hands. See you hands. later, Langston. I'll be here, like always. Like always. All right, what do we get? Uh, Langston, what is, oh my God. Langston asks Jesse to cleanse and retrieve the numerous altered items that have escaped from the Panopticon. He warns Jesse that their behavior has become erratic since the hiss corrupted them. So we need to find and contain the Japanese paper lantern, a traffic light, a hand chair, and moving letters. Well, the moving letters, probably in the dead letters area. Ooh, the Panopticon. So there's one around here. 
I just need to figure out where it is. Sealed Threshold Hall. going oh my god are you coming down or going up I see you up there. I gotta melee some of these guys, don't I? <laughs> Look at these guys run. Oh shit! Nope. Duck, Jesse. Oh no, I'm hurt. Whatever will I do? Haha, <laughs> he fell for it. I heard that. Oh, alright. Uh, traffic light. Okay. I don't think we saw a traffic light. That is not it. Um, so here's the other thing. That only goes up to level 4. I'm probably going to have to search level by level. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's... How will I get up there? I'm kind of tempted to see if, like, that's a thing. But I don't think I have enough durability. Um, levitation durability, I mean. Okay, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, I saw one here. Maybe I need to fly across. Maybe maybe that's how I'll get in. Because that looks like a whole area over there. Yeah, there's definitely something there. Alright, fuck it. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck me. I've already been there. No, that's where we wanted to go, isn't it? So we want to go underneath where it says archives. Here's the other thing. How am I going to get back? Fuck it. Spawn point's right down there anyway. Um, 
Might as well see what's here first. Well, I mean, this is the actual archives. Oh shit, maybe it's in there. Um, nope, there was definitely nothing here. This was indeed a dead end. Maybe I can kind of fly around the sides. Ooh, maybe I can make it. Okay, I did make it. Uh, well, I guess... Maybe you're gonna have to try the archives. It doesn't say it's in the archives, but is it a whole separate section? It is. It says Panopticon specifically. So it's gotta be around in this area. Okay, so it's not there, I don't think. Christmas tree. There's a smoking pram. There's nothing. <clears throat> and I believe the other way is blocked off. Yeah, so there's nothing that side. Looks like there's more stuff there. Or at least the washroom. Oh, never mind. It's the elevator. Well, fuck. Um. Yeah. Nothing. There's. Oh, there's the anchor. Back in its spot, I guess. That's funny. That's nothing. Fuck, there's a level 6, isn't there? Which we haven't gone to yet. So there's a P5. Yeah, there's a level... Oh my god, there's multiple levels. Although it does look like... No, it looks like it's open. Um, okay, you know what? Let's head up to the higher levels. Above level 5. Um, is there a way for me to get up? Yeah. That's my guy. Sorry, bro. Oh, shit. Come on. Blow him up. Add a girl. Add a girl. You're not dead. Oh, I gotta kill five. Right. Are you down there? I saw you. There we 
There we go. All done. All done. Okay, so... Let's see, how do we get up another floor? Because, I mean, there's a platform. There's clearly a way to get up there. You know, it might just be for show, now that I think about it. Because the other thing is the upper areas don't have any, um, any, like, signs. Like, this is the piece excel, but there's nothing above... Let's take another good look around this area. Unless it was passed here. No, but that's just the P6 cell. Maybe? You know, it doesn't hurt to look. I'm here. Nope, big old dead end. gonna look around a little bit more if I can't see anything we'll just move on come back to it a different time what is this area I think we've been in here Oh shit, there it is. Must be one of the missing altered items. I'm guessing we can move when it's red like it's red like green light. That's pretty cool actually. Of course it moves away. That is cool. Oh my god, look at this place. Oh, it starts me back there. So it moves me. Oh, okay. I can't move. So 
So I can't even move behind objects. Okay. That's good to know. Okay, the object's effect is subdued by exposure to sunlight. Uh, the traffic light with three distinct lights arranged vertically from on each of its four sides. From top to bottom, the lights shine red, yellow, green. Popular children's game is believed to be integral in the manifestation of this item and its effect. If an entity approaches the item while it's red, light is activated, they will be instantaneously relocated a distance of blank from the item. Theories that the item is shifting people to a former timeline or parallel universe have been explored and dismissed. The item was discovered after a street light at an intersection near the elementary school began shifting people away from itself after sunset. A local panic brought the case to the attention of the Bureau. The item was contained and a gas leak was blamed for this confusion in the townspeople's perception. Very cool. Anything else in here? I, I doubt there'll be anything else in here. Okay, one down. Down I go. Yeah, I don't think this was open before. Actually, I'd be willing to bet that this wasn't open before. Oh my god. I'm just gonna go. Ah, fuck it. I never run away from a fight. Soul is mine. And that's it. That's all of them. That is all. Oh, jeez. And let's port back. Where's the port? Oh, right. It was back this way. So we have three points. Uh, I could do melee. I don't want to do melee. Launch is good. Energy is good. Health is also good. Let's do let's do energy. Yeah. Okay. And I got rid of this one. Consecutive kills boost. Interesting. Shatter maintenance incursion. Kill the kill enemies in the maintenance sector. You know, maybe we should go back down and see if there's anything uh, with Ati. Um, I'm also gonna take these and abandon these um, these countermeasures because I'm not gonna do these, and it, and it's not like they reset after a while. Kill his sword in the executive sector. Just one. Kill his elevated. Gravity restrictions. Balloons do not apply. King of pop them. King of pop them. That's hilarious. Okay, so a maintenance incursion. We'll take that one. And you know what? Let's let, let's do a little bit of the main mission here. Let's speak with Emily. Let's see what's going on with Dylan. We'll 
Check on Underhill's progress. We'll do all this stuff in a little while. Let, let's do some main mission stuff. Let's get on with the story a little bit. So we want to go Central Executive. I think they said at the beginning of the game it was, what, 17 years since we last saw Dylan, since uh, the whole event in Ordinary? Ooh, what is this? Oh, God, did she have to write everything in her made-up gibberish code? Fucking Marshall, your CIA spy shit, God. Jukebox token. Put a record on. Um, what is this? Ask Arish about the jukebox token. So Arish is right here. Yo, bro. I found this token. What do you know? Any idea what it does? Ah, that is a jukebox token. Little bastards turn up in the weirdest places, like bad pennies. The rangers use them to activate an old object of power. A jukebox, I assume. Does it have any good songs? Nope, just the one record. Hey, be careful turning it on, though. When it's playing, you get a free trip to the formation. The formation? That sounds ominous. Why does it send you there? Well, the Bureau has been wondering that for years. I mean, it's just a pile of rocks built by God knows who, but... Well, researchers have confirmed it's in the same threshold as the quarry. No one's ever been able to map a physical route to the formation for maintenance. So it's in the quarry? You just don't know where. Pretty much. We only send in annual expeditions to the formation now. Checkups. Annual ex expeditions. This year's team went in the day the hiss arrived. Come to think of it, the song should have rolled back hours ago. I can go in and take a look. I'd appreciate that. The jukebox is kept just past the security booth over there. Just put in the token and enjoy the ride. One thing I will admit about this game. The side quests really keep you hooked. You know what I mean? Like, as much as I want to learn about Dylan, I, I really want to do these side quests. I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. You say We're so. Get through this. Can be constructed at central points or earned through bureau alerts, can work countermeasures, expeditions, and defeating elite enemies. I don't remember this. Um, this might be a DLC thing. So before we commit ourselves to doing, like, the, um, those timed missions, or whatever they're called, um, we'll see what it's about first. Timeline of events. To examine the invasion's timeline of events for possible patterns in his behavior. What is this? Analysis of his threat, his threat part four. Okay. Establishing a timeline is difficult at present because of lack of reliable communication between bureau sectors and staff. Preliminary models indicate ground zero of the invasion is located within the executive sector. Once it becomes possible to interview surviving personnel, pinpointing the exact location should be feasible. Other outstanding questions that a timeline may help answer. How did the Hiss get past the internal lockdown? How does Hiss resonance advance through space? Deliberately or uniformly? What is our ultimate goal? The outside world? A cross-dimensional destination? Refer to it redacted for a full report. Okay, where's Dylan? Speech analysis. Analysis of Hiss threat part three. Do we... Okay. Yeah, it looks like we've got all of them now. If we understand the Hiss to be a force based on vibration and resonance, then perhaps their incantation, which is now the agreed upon term for their vocalizations, incantation, eh? Makes sense. Is an effort to express that resonance using human vocal cords and speech. Would there be differences if the incantation were recited in a different language? The most common word used is want. Interestingly, every usage of the word is attributed to a you. You want to listen. You want this to be true. You must want these waves to drag you away. Are we the you the Hiss are referring to? 
Does the Hiss believe humanity, possibly all non-Hiss life, wants to join it? To be consumed by it? Is that its goal? The second most used words are through and time. Is this possibly the state his state is this possibly the his stating how they arrived here or an indication of its age? There is no clear intention in the words. Dismissing the incantation as nonsense as some of my colleagues recommend is beyond idiotic. I wonder if there's like I'm sure there is like YouTube videos of like everything the hiss are saying and I'm, I'd actually be really curious to see what what they're actually talking about um, I, I might do that in my own time okay what's good Emily what's happening after all these years Dylan is here but am I too late how is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the hiss, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems more in control, more present. I want to see him. My brother. Or is he? Of course. Now, Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Jesse, be careful. Uh, was there anything new on her end to talk about? Hi, Jesse. Might as well do it now. Blackrock, Arish, State of HRA, HRA Production. Um, let's I see. I visited the quarry. What's the plan for all that black rock? The Bureau has used black rock almost exclusively for containment purposes. See, I say branch out instead of boxes, helmets, instead she of glass did say shields. That. She did say that. So many slice. I've been trying to guess. I did not. Okay. So I should this be going. is new. This is, uh, this is not new. I mean. Oh, I will. Oh, I will. Oh, you know it. Okay, so she said upper areas. Ooh, how did I? How did I miss this? Television proposal. Uh oh. Based on the success of America Overnight. Oh yeah, we've only heard one of those things, haven't we? Where the guy was like, uh, there was that room with like the, there was like a smell coming from like the bed. They found like a body underneath, and the guy had like a dream that. Um, the guy had like a bad dream and he woke up under the bed. We would like to propose the creation of a television series that presents superstition and skeptical thought as entertainment in order to popularize these concepts among the civilian population and create less resistance to redirecting information regarding public paranatural events. Would there be less resistance to redirecting information? I don't know. We can also use solid media outlet to test paranatural concepts on civilian audiences, seeing how they react to certain facts presented as fiction. In the event that the Bureau ever decides, whoop, sorry, uh, ever decides to make certain realities public knowledge. There are various show licenses that we could purchase and reboot rather than starting from scratch. One particular property seems promising, especially considering its content and tone are precisely what we've been looking for. It's called Night Springs and has been off the air for a few years now. Yeah, if I remember correctly, um, that's what the TV shows in uh, Alan Wake was called. You know, like there's the Threshold Kids in, in this game. There's like the, the Twilight Zone um, episodes in um, in Alan Wake. I, I don't remember if they were called Night Springs. They might be. But I, I'm pretty sure that's, that's what it was. Those like five-minute shorts. Interesting. Uh, I'm just gonna. Oh, he's got something new to say. I don't think I ever told you this, but I was actually on the path to being a ranger once. Did the whole boot camp thing. Even got rookie status. Anyway, not the point. <laughs> like, My okay. own ranger squad was a great bunch. There was six plus me. 
Remus, Hazard, Cho, Guy, Hepson, Stoll, and Thompson. They were supposed to get back from an expedition yesterday. We had beers and wings planned. Problem is, mm. they weren't here when Darling handed out the HRAs. I can go some wings right now. Protecting them from the hiss. You see, they prep for the worst, but I think that we're already past that. We all wore these pouches around our neck, and I really need my days to get them. Could you find them for me? Uh, the squad would have come back through maintenance, but they probably spread out from there. I'll keep an eye out for them, Arish. And I won't let them stay his. That's ominous. What's the deal with Blackrock? Oh, fuck. Don't get me started on Blackrock. You know, ever since research found out that it blocks paranatural stuff, they have just been parading dangerous materials in and out of the fucking quarry. Oh, fucking lab coats, man. Look, making my job harder. Sounds like there's some tension between departments. Still, at least the quarry's got a good view of the night sky. You know, me and Salvador used to have after work beers down there. What do you know about Dr. Darling? Uh, I, about as much as anybody, I guess. Head of research, loves to hear himself talk. All of those science types absolutely do. Uh, now he's been acting a little bit psycho recently. Although HR told me not to use that word, so... <laughs> Everyone thinks finding Darling will lead us to the answers. But if he's completely lost it, then what help could he be? You're security, right? Do you work with rangers? Not often. Rangers are specially trained in threshold reconnaissance and ground zero AWE response. Security is more interested in the dangers inside the Bureau. They must see some weird stuff out there. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, every week they are tackling things that were previously unknown to the human experience. Most rangers, they retire due to cognitive collapse. I looked up the medical definition. Not fun. Uh, what they just like they, they just uh, become like uh, what are they called forget what the term is but like when people just aren't responsive you know like you see in movies people are just uh, catatonic that's the word uh, where you know people just like uh, snap in front of their eyes and they just don't respond that's crazy man but yeah I mean given all the shit that we've seen so far um God knows what else has been going on here throughout the years, you know, throughout the decades. How does the Bureau handle thresholds? Handle might be a bit of an optimistic way to put it. Um, Marshall sends the rangers in to map them, check growth rates, locate epicenters, take samples, measure stuff, basically. Sounds like he's done his homework. Now, down in maintenance, thresholds are used just like any other tool. Lab coats mine black rock from one, maintenance siphons water from another. We use it for pretty much everything. Except drinking. Why don't you drink it? Do I even want to know? Uh, yeah, a lot of time we find these little chunks in it. It's uh, pretty gross. I didn't want to know. That kind of reminds me of that scene from Prometheus. Where, like, uh, I forget what the guy's name is. Uh, the, the, the cyborg guy. He dips, like, that little fucking sperm into the water. It's not a sperm. It's like a worm or something. Um, the guy drinks it and just infests his body. What do you think of Marshall? Marshall? Marshall's a fucking badass. Rangers could not ask for a better leader. She's a little, uh, you know, intense, but given the stuff she's seen, I'm not surprised. She does have a bad habit of disappearing, though. Where does she go? Uh, last time she vanished, I did some digging into the security logs. I found camera footage of her entering the quarry. She was down there alone for days. Now, typically that's not allowed, but Marshall is kind of above the rules. I wonder what she finds so interesting in the quarry. Indeed. I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, watch yourself out there. I will. I certainly will. Did I just see something here? Oh, it was him. Marshall didn't give me any orders before she left. Guess I'll just keep managing inventory. I wasn't given any orders otherwise, so I guess I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. Can I? Ooh, I could definitely go in here. America Overnight results. So America Overnight is a bureau program? I hadn't considered that. 
The America Overnight Program has operated successfully for over blank years. Originally designed to assist in providing disinformation to the naturally skeptical population of America, it has additionally led to the discovery of numerous AWEs and altered materials by allowing civilians to call in and report their experiences with the paranatural. In fact, America Overnight alerted the Bureau of blank and blank in its first year of operation alone. In this report, the investigation sector have cataloged and ca uh, categorized each episode of America Overnight that has resulted in a successful Bureau investigation in order to help AWE occurrence analysis. The more blank results of Night Springs have also been cataloged in a separate report. Okay, so it, it, it's not a Bureau program. It's just, it's helped basically identify uh, AWEs to the Bureau, kind of like with me tabloids and the men in black. I guess. That's where they get their news, right? You know, part of me wants to turn off the, um... What is it called? The, uh... You know, that filter that, that can allow me to play music. I what it's called. I'm, I'm blanking on a lot of shit today. I kind of want to hear like what the music is. Oh, I don't think we've been here before. Oh, this is the jukebox. Um. <laughs> okay, I, I want to get to Dylan, but at the same time, I, I'm really curious as to what this is. Undertake expeditions in Quarry Site Beta to earn unique mods. Completing each of the four objectives will dismantle the formation to reveal rewards waiting inside. Challenging expedition that grants rare rewards. Jukebox token. Or three jukebox token. Highly challenging expedition that grants prime rewards. And this one grants absolute rewards. So five jukebox tokens and you get expedition gear. Okay. So I have three right now. But I guess I have to do each tier at a time. Okay, I'm not going to do this now. But now we know where the jukebox is. This is Lynn Salvador, oh. head of Bureau Security. I'm making a formal security order due to the incident in April. Case number 21HQ593. Improper use of the jukebox altered item led to two fatalities. We believe a pair of agents used the jukebox to travel to the quarry threshold and engage in inappropriate workplace behavior. An expedition team found them decomposing at the formation's base a week ago. Oh. At least we found out the jukebox doesn't bring corpses back when the song ends. I'm having the jukebox placed in a secure location in the executive sector. It should never have been accessible to low clearance staff in the first place. The new location security and proximity to a high traffic area will prevent misuse while still allowing for expedition teams to access it when required. See me for any further details. So I guess also one of the hidden um, things with the jukebox, I mean, it, it, it kind of makes sense when you think about it. It's timed because once a song ends, it brings you back. Um, so that's also, that's also good to note that they're also timed missions. Good luck out there. Thank you. Oh, uh, thank you. Watson thank you very much. I heard that he voluntarily entered captivity. That's what Pope said anyway. She doesn't know what she's talking about. His aren't that self-aware. As far as you know. What are you guys looking at? That is some oh well oh, fake writing. I love it. Yeah, yeah, I'm working, director. As you can clearly see, I'm working. Dissected that freak mutation we locked up. We can learn so much from its physiology. He's a valuable resource, alive, and Pope forbade any physical harm. Of course, if you disagree, you could always go tell her. No, that's fine. I'm sure we can find a more constructive use of our time. I'm sure. 
So are these like his survivors? Oh, jeez. You do not look like you're... You're out of it. That woman looks like she's she's seen some shit. Zachariah Trench was a national hero. Keep your conspiracy nonsense to yourself. Ooh, she got told. All right, let's head upstairs. What can I do to help? Nothing. You can shut the fuck up. Uh, I don't think I've explored up here before. You know, as someone who loves exploring and exploration games, I'm really doing a bad job. Uh, I saw that document, by the way. Oh, I'll get to it. Okay, let's see what it says. Era Utility. Objects of power and their para utility. Objects of power are unique in their capacity to grant certain individuals paranatural abilities. We call these individuals para utilitarians. The potency of these abilities depends on the para utilitarian. Using the blank object of power as an example, some para utilitarians can achieve a throw distance of blank, while others are only capable of as little as blank. See Dr. Darling presentation 11.15 for more information. What exactly determines an individual's paranatural competence is unknown, but it is largely believed that some blank, please not midichlorines, exists within the body and that, like all muscles, it can be exercised. To continue my analysis, I have officially requested access to the North Moore records, considering he is one of the most accomplished parautilitarians the Bureau has ever seen. Dr. Darling is still considering this request. Multimedia. What do we get? All right, security order. Salvador. Yep. 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 Ooh, book club. Enjoy literature. Slash sins slash in intellectual conversation. Then okay, you know what? I completely forgot. There is a photo mode. We shall read this. Oh my god. Yeah, enjoy literature, sins, intellectual conversation. Then join Hartwell's something book club. We meet in the Dead Letter Archives every Thursday after work for stimulating debates on books from a plethora of genres. If you're a curious bookworm, speak with Penny Bartwell to learn more. Is that a question mark at the end? To learn more? Looks like a question mark. Socks and ballerinas live at the oldest house. So I'm guessing, is that a, a puppet ballet? Like a sock puppet ballet? Food left in the refrigerator and containment break room 3B has been known to vanish. Plan accordingly. Yeah, anyways. Uh, back. <laughs> Is that where Dylan is? That is not where Dylan is. Have I explored this area? Pretty sure I have. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Music I can't listen to. Yay, copyrighted music. That's the word I was looking for earlier. Yeah, I'm tempted to turn off that filter so I can listen to it, but I don't want my videos to get flagged either. Um, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've been through this area before. Yep, that's Telltale, telltale Sign that I've been here before. The director's office is this way. Uh, this way. 
They're already getting other survivors out of safe rooms. Great. Maybe I can what? get back to my office soon. Why wouldn't you believe the director authorized it? I think you're gonna have to endure the inconvenience a little longer. Can't believe the director authorized something that grants us our safety. Like fuck. Who knew? Pope's promotion. Dr. Darling has personally recommended Miss Pope for a promotion based on her work ethic and assistance in advancing many ongoing research matters. See research re see research reports blank for breakthroughs resulting from her work. According to her colleagues, Pope has displayed a keen eye for detail and a quick grasp of paranatural concepts. She's professional and diligent, though some of her co-workers complain of social disinterest. The review committee approves this recommendation and promotes Miss Pope to the position of research specialist. So she was a junior researcher, right? Eh? I wonder how old this is. Collective unconscious. Collective unconscious is defined as a form of the unconscious that is shared in all human minds. From this arises consciousness, unconscious. From this arises unconscious knowledge linking us through our ancestral heritage. See Young report. Uh, through this collective unconscious, we unknowingly attribute a series of images and archetypes to all elements of our lives. These archetypes are never fixed, but shift and change in tandem with our species and culture. This internal belief in the power of images, shared by a massive population, is blank in the creation of altered items and objects of power. The sheer amount of blank exuded is attracted to the best representation of that image, imbuing a single, single object with massive amounts of blank. Theoretically, places of power could likewise be formed by the simple power of sustained collective belief. Okay, that's it for this area. Ooh. Marshall orders us to just sit on our asses and then leaves. What's the deal? Holy crap. She's probably out doing some recon. Then she should have taken us with her. I need some action, goddammit. Um This is uh interesting. I was kind of half half hoping that I walk in there and be like, post-it room. Alright, so... Ooh, house memory. Um, I need to go to an access point to level up the thing. Alright, sticky note complaint. To whom it may concern, in case you're not aware, something caused a sticky note in my office to duplicate. My office is unusable now. I'll be working from home until this is resolved. You can reach me on my cell or home phone. Sincerely, Jay Bozer, Vice Chief of Staff. Um, so instead of fixing the problem, they just locked it up. What do you know about this Arish guy? I heard some rangers saying he saved them in maintenance. They were attacked by a new kind of hiss, and Arish got them out. All right. And there's a director's the office. Anything new in here? Bloodstain's still there. And the blood splatter is still there. You know what would have been interesting? If, if like slowly but and subtly, like more and more of Jesse's stuff started showing up in here and replacing Trench's stuff. Like I know there's a picture of Jesse here, but there's like everywhere. Like maybe a picture of like her when she was a kid or something or something like that, you know. Oh, shut up. I'm sorry. Isn't that whose brother? Oh, if only I could take out my gun. Why does your mouth move? Why, why is everyone wearing socks on their faces? I know they're not socks. Technolo technological restrictions. Technolo oh my god. Technological. I can't speak today. Technological limitations of the oldest house. 
The oldest house imposes certain limitations on our bureau, but by far the most restrictive is the inability to use certain technological instruments. The oldest house does not allow devices that receive or emit any blank signal. Radio waves are the only transmittable signals in the oldest house, and even those are often unreliable. If the power of collective unconscious is taken into account, it could be that certain pieces of technology are too new in the cultural blank for the oldest house to blank them. Similarly, these items have not been known to become receptacles for altered states. Technology may be moving at a, f a too fast a pace for the blank to occur. Modern technology tends to disappear and break here, sometimes quite violently. Blank agents have been injured by cell phones exploding in their pockets while entering the oldest house. Not all of them were Samsung. Some were even iPhones. What is that? That looks like a panopticon, kinda. Or even the maintenance area? Maybe. Who knows? Last encounter. Where is this? Anyways, whatever. Whatever. Another radio. You know, radio waves are supposed to work. Allegedly. Undefined reading. Oh my god, look at all the shift I look at all the shit I missed. Listen. I know you can't control building shifts, but the executive level restroom has been missing for weeks now. <laughs> I've worked my ass off in the Islamabad station for three years. I earned the right to work to I earned the right to a nice workplace shitter. If you can't bring it back, at least find out where it went. D. Rodriguez. Can you imagine on like on the flip side, taking a shit? And then opening the door and being like, where the fuck am I? Like, the bathroom just shifted somewhere else. On the other side of the of the oldest house. Like, where the fuck am I? Then after having to call your secretary to tell your wife, like, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be three hours late. I gotta find my way back. There's Dylan. Oh yeah, let's finish up here real quick. Okay, let's go talk to Dylan. Finally. You are a warm through time. The thunder's home distorts you. Happiness comes. White pearls, but yellow and red in the eye. Through a mirror, inverted is made right. Leave your insides by the door. Push the thing through the surface into the way. You've always been a mirror. You walk as a patrol. We stand around you while you dream. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. Through time, the thunder's home distorts you. Happiness comes, white pearls, but yellow and red in the eye. Through a mirror, the inverted is made right. Leave your insides by the door. Push the thing through the There's nothing in here. You always been a mirror. You walk as a patrol. We stand around you while you dream. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. This happens more and more now. You gave us permission and regulation. We wait in the stains. The word that describes this is redacted. Repeat the word, the name of the sound. It resonates in your house. Oh, after the song, for a pause, we build you to just nothing remains. The egg cracks and the true will emerge to you. You are home. You remind us of a home. You've taken your boss with your boss with you. All hair must be eaten. Under the conceptual reality behind this reality, you must... I wonder how long this goes before it starts repeating. I mean, it could go on for 15 minutes for all I fucking know. Um, yeah, that's... This is creepy. Um... Yeah, let's let's talk to Dylan. You are a warm through time. Shit. That's Dylan. Can you hear me? Oh, come on, Dylan. I'm here. I found you. Do you know who I am? Oh, you know me. Say it. You are Dylan Faden's sister. 
He's talking in the third person. Always a good sign. Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. Push the fingers through the surface into the wet. You've always been the new you. You want this Can you to stop be that? Please. <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. Don't you want to say them too? No. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You! You came in through the hole in you! We let you in, you've always been here! The only true! A copy of a copy of a copy of a copy! Stop copy. it! Orange peel! Shit! Shit! He can see you. This is not safe. We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small, in ordinary, in the desert, through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trunch took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. And <laughs> she didn't help when they locked me up for years. After the song time for applause, we build you till nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will emerge out of you. You are home. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it. And they found... They opened the door up to the hiss. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. There it is. We stopped the Altered World event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. I mean, yeah. Your worm is a tune you can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, 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 yeah. Just plastic. So safe. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Funny. I welcomed the hiss. I let it in. To get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. You are a puppet. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut off the slide projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Go to the Prime Candidate program in the containment sector. I have the key card to get you there. Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for this light projector. You can help me. We can end this. You are a worm through time. That you are a worm through time. The thunderstorm distorts you. Happiness comes. White pearls but yellow and blue. Alright, first off, the guy who plays Dylan. Fantastic fucking job. Um I'm not normally one to get like um you know creeped out by by performances. Like even Look at like Heath Ledger's Joker, for example. Like there were a lot of people, especially that um, video camera thing that he did when he captured like that fake Batman. Uh, he's like, "Look at me!" That never really creeped me out though, all that much. 
this whoever i i need to find out this actor's name he did a fantastic job i'm not going to say he, he freaked me out but it's definitely unnerving um second it's it's fascinating that um it, it looks like dr darling whatever he's been doing has kind of um been fucking with dylan's mind to the point where he actually welcomed the hiss in and says he feels so much better um and i'm wondering if darling is a lot more um of a mad scientist than we're led to believe and that's pro possibly why trench was like uh maybe i've given this guy too much leeway you know what i mean yeah I, I yeah i feel like there's subtly stuff we're being told that you know things are not what they really appear i mean obviously things are not what they appear to be especially in a game like this but i, I just find it fascinating that yeah dr darling as meek and mild as he may appear and outwardly friendly i uh, there's a lot more going on like we still haven't found him like everyone we've we've been talked about like everyone emily like we've heard about emily we've heard about marshall we've heard, heard about arish we've heard about Ati, we heard about the director we met all these people even dylan now where's darling he's the one person we haven't met yet um and yeah it's yeah it's a lot to process a lot happened in the last five minutes it's it's really a lot to process did you hear that the his prisoner they captured is the director's brother brother and she brought him here she's gonna get us all killed what if she's working with the hiss isn't it strange she showed up just what they did she have anything new to say she does how are you doing jesse it can't be easy seeing dylan like this i'm fine what can you tell me is he still human or is he his I've taken numerous tissue samples and have tests running as we speak, but from the initial data, he looks healthy. I only see corruption in a superficial way. What does that mean? I don't know. This is all new. But if he's like you, maybe Polaris is preventing total hiss takeover. Or maybe this is just a new form of hiss. We've already seen how it affects people in different ways. Dylan told me he let the hiss in. Does that change anything? Voluntary conversion. I mean, hypothetically, that could affect the mental state post-corruption, as well as the extent of biological alteration. But again, this is new territory for me. I'll need time. You won't have it. I'm gonna shut down the slide projector. That's how the hiss are getting in. Once I close it, this should all be over. Jesse. We don't know how this works. If you sever their connection to the source, it could cause a terminal chain reaction. Every his corrupted individual dead. Better that than what Dylan is now. I'm shutting it down. This has to end. Whatever happens, happens. Okay, just let me know how I can help. Thank you, Emily. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is upgrade... Um, is there another thing here? Oh, I guess the outfits. Jukebox tokens. Oh, so it just costs money. It, damn, it costs a lot of money. Set of five. So we save a 10,000 by making five. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Um, weapon forms. Construct charge. 
Oh, right. Uh, mods. That's why I wanted you to. I want to upgrade the mods. So now we have six housemates. We had two for the longest time. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Let's upgrade again. Let's upgrade again. Cool. Um, yeah. I would have only upgraded the pierce, to be honest. Maybe constructed the charge, but I don't have the corrupted samples, right? Um, outfits. We only have the one still? Yeah. Okay, so... The loadout is still the same, unless there's something new. Ooh, our stuff is full. Okay. <sighs> Going through the stuff all the time is just... tedious. Ooh, this one's better. By 3%. I will take it. Okay, so now that that's done, um, oh my god, we got a lot of side quests. You know what, fine, let's do this one. Oh, I haven't even gone there yet. Uh, how do I get there? So if I'm looking at the map... You know what? Let's go through the let's go through this area. All right, so this is the way, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we'll need to look out for any areas we might have missed. What hurt me? Like, seriously, what hurt me? there a way up here? I think we've been up here. Yeah. Yeah, we've been up here. Seriously? God, I can't take two steps without something fucking... Oh my god, seriously? They do so much damage. I 
Relentless, man. Fucking relentless. Okay, so. This is the hall. And I'm wondering if there is an area we missed around here. What the fuck is that? So this is where we went for the object of power. Don't need to go there again. That's an altered item up there. Oh, it's the Chinese lantern. I completely forgot about this. Or that it was here. It wasn't so bad. The paper lantern. Okay. This item should be kept in a locked containment cell. Any prolonged observation of the item should be avoided. The item is a paper lantern known as a chochin. Excuse me. The paper is read with elegant black Japanese characters that translate to ramen. Really? Item has an attractive effect that is both physical and psychological. Nearby objects gravitate towards the item with a minor force of blink. More notable is its ability to attract sentient organisms with its rich red color and warm, comforting glow. It's a warm, glowing, warming glow. The ramen lantern. Okay. So now that we've uh, controlled it, uh, it should be back in its... So I guess that's what those blank cells were in the Panopticon. It's just the altered world items that are strewn about the, um, the oldest house. Okay, so there's no... Nothing I could tell, anyway. No, um... Alternate routes. So we'll go there in a minute. Let's check out down this way first. Nope. Oh, hello. Alright, blow him up. Blow him up. Oh, shit. That's enough out of you fucks. There's more. Come at me, bro. Are oh, you down there? Ow. You motherfucker. Alright, you know what? I dare you. I fucking dare you. I'll just do this. So, there is nothing over here. Okay, nothing over this way. That's where you can come from. Okay. So nothing here. That's good. Okay. I guess we'll be going down this way. Anything up that way, actually? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, someone uh, fucked up on the ordering, man. So, okay, this leads back to there. Can I go through here? Oh, this bathroom. Nothing in here.
So that leads here. So I still don't know how to get down there. That's where we want to go. That's the turntable. Sterling... Sterling Awe? Sterling A.W.E.? Right, and there's this monster here that I can't just... I can't quite kill. Down there. There's some shit going on down there, eh? So what is going on here? Maybe it's tied to what's going on down there. But I don't know how to get down there. I keep thinking there's like a door I'm missing. But again, it would show like a... Like a green light? At least I could see that. To show that like the door is unlocked or something. That's where I came from. If I... Is there an upstairs? There's not an upstairs I can easily get to. It's like I'm thinking... Because like right north of where we are, there's more blank areas. So security. How do I get to security? Looks like we go through here. And then, of course, oh. That is a washroom. Oh my god, can you leave me alone for two minutes, please? Everything has to be a huge ordeal. Okay, so maybe I can go to the right. I'm sure I've been here. I've definitely been there. Oh, this is where all this stuff was. And I couldn't enter here yet. We have level 6 clearance. Okay. I didn't even realize we were given a higher clearance. Assets. Yeah, clearance level 6. Okay. So I can now go back to those older places. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. Oh, did I see someone walk there? Oh, yeah, I did. For a second, I thought it was like one of those, like you see something out of the corner of your eye, but when you look, there's like nothing there. Mirror supplement. Oh, wait, no, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Victorian mirror. She was admitted to a mental ward for emotional instability soon after relocating to Illinois with her family in 1914. The item only appears on record again in 2006 when the Bureau investigated a sudden rise in disappearances in blank Illinois. Agents found the item hanging in the local library. They contained it quickly, though the missing people of the town were never recovered. We certified that the case of Mrs. Blank had shown her to be a lunatic under the reasons of hysteria, bad company, and imaginary female trouble. Her fixation with the family looking, family looking glass is noteworthy, though not an uncommon matter when considering the female disposition. 
Okay. Uh, Mrs. Carver is a, is a fit subject for the lunatic asylum and will remain in its confines until her affliction has passed. Signed, Dr. Blink. How much you want to bet it's Dr. Dr. Darling. Forget his first name. Seven. Are we P7, maybe? So, what was through here, then? This was the transit corridor. So, I guess that, this leads us to the turntable. Okay. So, let's do this first. Oh, there's stuff down there. There's stuff going on down there. What the fuck is going on here? I got this. Oh, of course. you were there too all right you know what let's let these guys blow up there it is oh jeez oh jeez blow that thing up. Can you blow it up, please? Oh my god. Oh, this is gonna suck for you, bro. Come on. You can do it. How did it not do any damage to it? Fuck you. What is going on here? Yo, that is messed up. Bright Fall Supplement. Alice Wake, Mr. Wake's wife, was found during the Bureau investigation. She was interviewed and evaluated. She showed signs of severe mental trauma in the form of blank memory loss. She was later directed to treatment. So it's really interesting. Oh, okay, let me finish it first. It was concluded that she had been trapped in the threshold during its manifestation. Notable individuals still missing after the Bright Falls event are FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale, and Dr. Emil Hartman refer to the creator's dilemma and the RE file, uh, the file re the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Bureau researchers believe this event was a result of a forceful perception of subjective reality stemming from Mr. Wake, overlapping on our own. Wake has been flagged as a potential para-utilitarian. See Prime Candidate Program file for more details. In 2011, a book by Clay Stewart titled The Alan Wake Files was published by Roundabout Press, New York and Olympia. Agents interviewed Clay Stewart and suspected minor peri-utilitarian sensitivity. He was placed under indefinite surveillance. A monitoring station was established at Cauldron Lake to alert the Bureau of any future activity. So what I was going to say is, <coughs> it's actually interesting. I, I know that this game made mention to Alan Wake, but I wasn't sure 
like this actually proves that um they they dealt with uh the events uh, the the aftermath of Alan Wake you know what I mean like they actually investigated it um and I, again I know it's mentioned in the files which means they they did some kind of like investigation but like this like they interviewed Alice Wake like Alan Wake's husband or a wife sorry um and it, it's interesting to know that like these are um like they're related in that way I'm really curious. I know very little about Alan Wake too. I, I know that um, I know that you basically play as both Alan Wake and a an FBI agent. How cool would it be if the FBI agent actually was a control agent, like a member of the FBC? Not to say that like they have abilities. I mean, just, clearly, not many people have abilities. Um, but it's like a ranger or something, you know what I mean? Like the the SWAT, the SWAT team, or even if it's just like a regular investigator, like a, an agent. It's not really FBI; it's actually FBC. Like, how cool would that be? I really can't wait until I get to Alan Wake too. I'm, I I can't wait. We got a new hotline, prime candidates. After North Moor stepped down, I doubled every effort to find new prime candidates. There was no one. No one but me. That wasn't good enough. I pushed hard. I never wanted the Bureau to end up in that situation again. The Bureau needs a director. Always. When my time reaches an end, I want more options on the table. P1 through P5 were all false leads, dead ends, and disappointments. Then, P6. Dylan Faden. He fell into our arms. No parents. They're gone. Casualties of an AWE. The boy has exceptional talent. The oldest house will be his home. We'll build him from the ground up. He'll be trained and taken care of. Darling can be in charge of this project. I can't. I'll stay away. I will not fail the boy like I failed my own family, my daughter and my wife. We weren't careful enough back then. Something came home with me. I took work home. My Susanna got sick. When I realized my mistake, I wanted to bring her here for Darling to do what he could. Kate flat out refused. Civilian doctors treated our daughter, but they didn't have a clue. She died. Kate left me. Same old story. That was a long time ago. The Bureau is all I have now. And the prime candidates are our future. There are two. P6 and P7. We're spoiled for choice. Yeah, pretty sure that, that we're P7. That Jesse's P7. Sad to hear about Trench, though. Yeah, and it occurs to me we know extremely little about him. this stuff first, and then we'll head in there. P6, P7. Huh. I wish things had gone differently in ordinary for us. But wishing won't change things. Finding the projector will. Ordinary. There's so much coming together in this one case. A new object of power, something we have not seen before. I mean, coming from me, that's that's saying something. And the boy, Dylan Faden, prime candidate six. 
and the sister as well. But once we catch up with her, but the, the boy had so much potential. We're talking Northmore level readings here. And, and I don't want to invoke his name, but it's completely different circumstances here. an incident. Yes. We lost a valuable member of our team, yes. Excessive force. Dylan has so much. The dark side is strong he's, with this one. He's just a kid. I, I'll take the blame. He, he, he needs some slack. I mean, boys will be boys. He's exceptional and under a lot of stress. Roberts got killed. It's an unfortunate accident, that's all. Marshall needs to realize this. We will make this work. We'll make this work. You know, they keep saying that Dylan has so much potential, but I thought that... We read in a document earlier that um, they don't know why... Um, like the candidates have the potential they do, but but they can measure it. Aren't aren't those two kind of related? Like I'm not a scientist or anything by any stretch of the imagination. But knowing how something works and why something works, aren't they fairly? Are, are, can't you really know one without the other? Again, I'm not a scientist by any. Agent killed during blank involving blank codename P6. Blunt force injuries of the head and neck, excessive trauma in the abdominal region, lacerations and contusions on the upper upper and lower torso, fracture of the spinal cord between L1 and L2 vertebrae. Oh, geez. Avulsion fracture of the third through tenth ribs left and right, blunt force injuries of the extremities, abrasions, lacerations, and contusions of the extremities. Dislocation of left and right elbow. Dislocation of left and right knee. Jesus, what did he do to him? After examination, it was determined the cause of death was internal bleeding that occurred when the blank was contorted through his blank. Oh, Jesus. Hopefully this guy died of sh or passed out at least from shock before he felt any of this shit. Um, yeah, yeah, it's darling shit. Dylan Faden transcript. Transcript of conversation subject Dylan Faden for review by Dr. Darling. Subject was alone during this outburst. You again. I thought I told you to leave me alone. Why are you showing me this? I can't do anything. Can't you see where I am? Why don't you help me get the fuck out of here? You always show me things I can't do anything about. Stop showing me her. I don't care anymore, and I don't care about you. You both left me here to rot. Fuck off, bitch. I will dig out my own brains if it means getting rid of you. I don't want you here. Get the fucking message. Subject repeated the phrase fuck off numerous times before being sedated. 1753. So I'm guessing he was talking to Polaris? Considering how upset he was at uh, Polaris um, when we were talking to him. So, okay. Who's P7? Is it my information here? Is this what Dylan wanted yeah. to see? There we go. It doesn't matter. We need to find that projector. Oh, nice. Got a new outfit. All the times I felt paranoid, I was right. The Bureau could have given me the answers, but they just stood by and watched me. Hmm. So it's interesting again that they took Dylan, but
but they didn't take Jesse at the time. Jesse Faden movement tracking. Cause for concern. Yeah, she's been around. Okay, so they knew that we arrived in New York City, but they didn't know that we'd come to the Bureau. So, okay, here's the other thing. If they're tracking our movements, Dr. Darling must know that we're here at this point. He must know. I mean, it, I mean, despite the fact that our pictures are everywhere uh, as a director. But he hasn't done anything to contact us. Because, again, we've talked to everyone else except him. We used to play there all the time. Me and Dylan, and other kids as well. We loved it. This time, I remember, was different. We found a way in, deeper into it, like it had shifted. We went inside and that's where we found the slide projector. A dump is a place for lost things. Things that have been thrown away. Did you ever feel that way when you were growing up, Jesse? What? No. Yes, but that has nothing to do with... Was there a slide projector at your home when you were small? No. <laughs> Those were before your time, I suppose. But your family did look at photos together, maybe. In one form or the other? Maybe. Hmm. When was this? Can you remember? At parties? Barbecues? How did it make you feel? Did your parents ever show pictures that embarrassed you? Was alcohol ever involved at these parties? Did your parents drink? Did you? Did that make you uncomfortable? No! That's just stupid! Come on! That has nothing to do with this. Nothing. The slide projector, let me ask you this. As a child, did you ever fantasize about worlds inside pictures? Inside a painting? You know, stepping into a painting, into a hidden world, escaping and finding adventure there? Away from your parents? I don't... I... I don't think so. I don't remember. Maybe. I don't know. That psychiatrist is pretty bad. And just flat out dismissing everything. Like, obviously, she she's not going to believe it, but at the same time, it's like... They studied the what happened in Ordinary here. That's the place to start looking. Um, at the same time, the person you're trying to help believes it. Um, okay, so... Yeah, before we go there, let's... Right Falls Summary. An unconfirmed threshold manifestation at Cauldron Lake, Washington? Um... I don't know my states. So I'm not. I'm not American. I don't know if Wash if W A is Washington or Wisconsin. I'm gonna guess Washington. W Y is probably Wisconsin. I don't even know Wisconsin's a state. I'm so sorry. Uh, resulted in a fictional story written by the author Alan Wake, creating an A W in which reality was altered to match that of the story, though only locally and for a limited time. I never even considered that. That the whole story of Alan Wake was basically um, an AWE being created. That is, that's actually mind blowing. And for those of you that don't know much about Alan Wake, like again, we'll we'll get to it soon. But just consider that. Keep that in the back of your mind. That's that's crazy. Mr. Kirkland, head of investigations, was alerted on September thirteenth, two thousand ten, by ex-bureau agent Frank Breaker. 
that an EWE event was taking place in Bright Falls. Refer to events investigated in 1970, 76, 78. Breaker had received a call from Barry Wheeler, Alan Wake's literary agent, on behalf of Breaker's daughter, Sarah, who is the current sheriff of Bright Falls. Sarah Breaker. Okay. A bureau-filled team arrived on the site two days later, only to confirm that the event was over. Interviews was conducted. Refer to the 1970 Thomas Zane. 1976, 1978, Odin Anderson, Tor Anderson. I remember Odin and Tor. Um, again, just just keep those names in the back of your mind. I don't want to spoil anything. Uh, even Thomas Zane, to keep that in the back of your mind. Alan Wake was believed to blank investigator. Eyewitness reports highlight an old light switch, possible object of power, that blank missing. Wake was not found at the scene. Reports claim he dived into the lake, but no body was recovered in the search. Hmm. And the event date was in, yeah, September. September 1st to the 14th. Oh, oops. On multimedia, this is Jesse. Yep, slide there. Okay. Oh God. Okay. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to watch it from here because you can actually kind of see it full screen. You and your special powers. See, you're upset, Meg. Oh, God. Why don't you tell Uncle Mr. Bones what's wrong? I did bad on my clairvoyance test. You can't ace every test, Meg. You see, everyone has different brains. <laughs> Some brains can talk to each other. We call this ESP. ESP? <laughs> Some brains can lift objects like a baseball. Talk about a fly ball, eh, Meg? <laughs> no interruptions! So who cares if you fail your clairvoyance test? Maybe your brain can throw baseballs, or talk to dead people, or make friends blind. Once we know what your brains can do, we'll know what job to give you. Your and delicious your brains. brains. Just right. You'll get to sit in the big chair. <laughs> That's a mighty big chair. What if I don't want the big chair? What if I don't want the big chair? Everyone wants the big chair, Meg! That's why we're all here. Use those brains to listen for once, or the only chair you'll get in is the one with straps. All right, that's the best one so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No interruptions. Uh, oh, right. We've been here. So we came from over there. Let's go down here. So Yeah, so there's stuff down here, but we didn't actually come. 
We don't actually come down here. Oh, even the bottom here is like all warped and shit. So fucking trippy. Um, Okay, so nothing else down here. Nothing else that I can see. Um, that was the corridor. Okay. Um... Yes, we did. Oh, more friends to play with. Lovely. this one work chat dead dog i see your creepy teeth delivery and raise you a dead sorry what i see your creepy teeth delivery and raise you a dead dog yeah like a straight up deceased dog had a collar on it and everything it's been rotting in that box since they packed it up go ahead and imagine how that smelled so don't go whining to me i wish i got to watch a parade of human teeth I'm sorry, what? Context much? Oh, that area looks like so much fun. Uh, what's this? Willow AWE Shipping Manifest. Inventory of Recovered Materials. A hollow sphere, stone-like material. Vitrified soil. Blank pieces of various sizes and colors. Animal carcass, possibly canine. Rusted metal bucket. Leather wallet. Aged shotgun cartridge. All materials to go to the investigation sector for further analysis. A leather wallet, eh? So I'm wondering if you anything were both prime candidates. Yeah. Experiments. Yeah. Well, they haven't really experimented on you. So I'm wondering if again, I know nothing about quantum break, but I'm wondering if that's also kind of considered an AWE. Like they might have mentioned the names. Um, but I don't know any of the names, so...
Oh. Where's the access point? Is it not here? No. Okay, I think I'm missing something. So Sterling AW, Ordinary AW, Ordinary Dump Site. Okay. So what am I missing here? Something there. <clears throat> but I can't get there yet. Oh, now it shows up. Guess I had to clear out that final guy. We're going back home. Of course we are. It started there, and it's... Never gone away. Yeah, so like I was saying, I wonder if, like, uh, Quantum Break has any relevance to the story as well. Uh, again, they might have named the characters, but I don't know any of them. I don't even know what the story of Quantum Break is about. Um, okay, so let's fast travel real quick to Central Executive. Let's check out that new costume that I got. Um, the... Was it P6 suit or something? Or P7 suit? Oh, I wonder if it's like the same clothes that Dylan has. Candidate P7. Yeah. No. I, I don't want to wear that. Man, the first costume you get and it's shit. Um, okay. And... Since we have some time, let's go to Central Research. Yeah. Uh, let's pick up that note in Dr. Darling's office, the one, we, uh, the one we missed last episode. It's kind of been nagging at me since, the last, since I saw it during editing. Um, should be up there. Right there. Resonance theory. Resonance. It's there, but we can't see it. It vibrates around us, through us, from us. But what if the vibration is conscious? What could a force like that do? Blank opened a door to a blank. I've called blank. The blank emits a force that is far beyond the forces we've previously dealt with. It has shown me so much that I have to wonder. Is resonance the key element in all altered phenomenon? AWEs, altered items, objects of power. Do they share a common blank that we've yet to discover? We can harmonize control points. What else would the correct frequency allow us to achieve? What if resonance has been the answer this whole time? That is an interesting point. What if sound was actually sentient? That's a scary thought, isn't it? Um, where is the closest control point?
Thought he was gonna blow up. Um. Well, since we're here, I also wanted to head down to uh, maintenance. Uh, see if there is another quest. It's another side quest from Auntie. It's been a little while. A lot's happened. It's ominous music. Um, this is the wrong area. Actually, so many side, so many tangents. Um, Blackrock processing. No, never mind. I thought there was a level six door here somewhere. Okay, I, I think I was wrong. Um, yeah, I think I was wrong. Okay, so we want to go access corridor, I guess. Because the first time we went down to the maintenance, it was through the elevator. Yeah, this is what I wanted. Been here, right? Yeah. Ventilation. Yeah, so there's the access point we normally get to. Oh, I should find the others. Oh, so these guys are still alive. I thought they were dead. Or I thought they would be dead. Like the quest, I mean. Okay. I do, Ati. I promise you I do. Nothing will ever top Pussy Splinters. What a mess. Clear them all. AGAIN?! I need to scrap that clean or there goes my reputation and honor. And then the good won't swing. Oh. Sorry. You guys keeping an eye? I'll save that there. Okay, guys. I think that's enough for today. Um, I, I really want to keep playing, but... Um, it's 5.30 in the morning for me. And um, I need to sleep. Because I gotta, I gotta get up for work in the morning. But I, again, like... Like I mentioned before, like the side quests are so fucking fascinating and look at the amount of side quests we have now man like this is the main one this is the uh this is the main quest we got the dr underhill's progress uh check the runaways try the jukebox get the old friends find this mirror in synchronicity and clear the mold we got what is it two three four five six six side quests it's fucking crazy but yeah, they're all... I, I would really want to get them all done. Um, and I think we'll start doing some of those timed quests as well, because I want to get a little bit more coins um, to, to eventually do the jukebox thing. Um, but yeah, man. Ever, yeah, guys. I like. I really, I really hope you're enjoying the story. Like, a lot happened. A lot happened this episode. Um... Or this part, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm certainly really invested now, and um, again, I, w I want to keep playing. I don't care how how long the videos are or how early in the morning it is, but I duty life calls, right? But yeah, thank you so much for joining me, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.